welcome back to the Big Ski family. We are back in Bend, Oregon. The whole entire family moved uh, our way back up this week to Bend, Oregon. We've been in Los Angeles since about late April, early May, and been focusing on our business down there and taking care of, of business, loving on our team and redirecting kind of the organization. And while we will still be very involved in that organization and that business, it's good to be back in Bend, Oregon, uh, where our home is. and. Um, just excited to be back here, really excited to be back here. I wanted to give you a quick update on the Big Ski family. Some of you are like, what is the Big Ski family? What are you guys talking about? What are you doing? I know you guys ran around in some of your day glow suits last winter, what was all that? Well, I'll tell you what, I had a vision. I have lots of ideas, lots of visions, but some of them seem better than others. And uh, this one seemed really good to me. I was like, you know what? I spend this time in LA with my business, usually as an individual working with the team there. I spend time coaching with clients in LA and Chicago, and I want something that I can do with my family that we can work together on and end, and that would share, where we could share a common passion and take on common challenges, overcome obstacles together, and share, create shared memories and experiences and learn while we're doing that. And therefore, uh, on the mountain, while we were skiing at Mount Boucher, literally a season, and a half ago, someone came up to me and they said, hey, can I ride the chairlift with you? I said, sure, I didn't know this man. Long story short, he was a representative for Lang Ski Boots. And he, as we rode up the lift, he says, I see you're wearing Lang. Why is your whole family not wearing Lang Ski Boots? And I said, you know what? I, uh, <laughs> I can't afford to buy them all brand new Lang Ski Boots. They grow out of them every season. I mean, it's ridiculous. We're churning and burning. We're hand-me-downs. We're getting them in ski swaps. We're buying them used. We buy them new. We, we just kind of patching ourselves together all the time. And he says, well, here's my card, call me in the summertime because I think you should all be wearing Lang. And at the time it dawned on me, I said, why should we all be wearing Lang? You know, I mean, what's he seeing? And he says, Chad, everybody on the mountain, when you ski by in those crazy mountain day glow ski suits, your family is strong, they're all strong skiers. You can tell you're having a blast and you're contagious. You're sharing that love with other people and it's encouraging, inspiring other people and it lifts the whole spirit of the people around you on the slopes. And I said, in that moment, I was like, ah, I have an idea. What if we kind of branded ourselves as the big ski family? What if we could create value for ski resorts, ski brands, people out in the marketplace? Because it dawned on me, I said, the people who write the biggest checks in the ski industry are mothers and fathers. It's parents who want to give their family a unique experience. And so we buy lodging, we buy lift tickets, we buy food, we buy gear, and we buy replacement gear because we lose gear and we grow out of gear and equipment and, and we go to the mountains and we buy vehicles and we buy racks and we buy the clothing. It goes on and on and on to get these shared experiences in the mountains. And I know over the years I've invested a lot a whole lot of money, of time, of energy around getting those kinds of shared experiences. And I said, those were the people who feed this industry. We're the ones who make this industry work. It's not the guy that I was at 19 years old, living in the back of my forerunner, you know, getting free ski passes and, you know, eating top ramen. And nothing wrong with that. I love that, okay? There's glory in that. But at the same time, the people who are making the industry work are families. And so it was a phenomenal first season. We had people reach out to us besides Lang. We had Kerma Poles, we had Pret Helmets, we had Spy Goggles, we had Point Six Socks, we had other brands that were saying, hey, I love what you're doing. We love the message you're sharing. We had ski resorts reach out to us and said, hey, would you come to our resort? Granby Ranch said, hey, we'll put you up for the night. We want to feed you. We want to put you because you're sharing the passion that we share as a resort of getting families together outdoors doing these shared experiences. And so it was really a phenomenal first season. Had a phenomenal reception at the uh, X Games in Aspen. We just popped in on the scene and the, the support of people that saw what we're doing and engaged in it was really, really fun. We met some really key players in the industry. Had the pleasure of skiing, meeting Scott Schmidt multiple times throughout the season and skiing with him. Skied with uh, Glenn Plake. Uh, multiple times and his his wonderful wife Kimberly and tied in with them and just shared this this love of sharing the love of skiing 
Um, in fact, one day we were with Scott Schmidt, Mike Hattrip, and Glenn Plake all at the same time, the three guys who were in Blizzard of Oz years ago, skiing at Squaw Valley. It was just like a surreal moment. You're like, no way, and the kids were all yelling, and these are guys that I told my kids about. Anyways, I say that to say season one was epic. Now, it's weird because you come into season two and you're like, okay, everybody's just gonna hit it. Well, guess what? I have a challenge in my family because I've got children from the age of seven, Cordelia, up to uh, at home right now. I have, uh, and I say at home, really it's Caroline on down. Caroline's 18, just turned 18 in March. And from Caroline 18 to seven, there's eight of them. We're, we're trying to accommodate the visions, unique callings on each of our children's life and yet do something as a family. And that creates a dynamic tension. I'll be real frank with you. It's not like everybody's like, oh yeah, this is the deal. That's super clear and simple and let's go do it. It's not. In fact, the older ones have a love for skiing, a love for family, all these things, but they also have a love and a passion to grow as individuals, to express their own individuality through work, through learning, through peer group uh, interaction and social, uh, you know, friendships, other things besides just clumping around as a family. And I get it. And so we're trying to wrestle with how does this work? You know, because we don't want to run off and leave the older ones, Kimberly, Caroline, or Caroline, Baylor, Kelsey here. Um, so this is a real challenge we're faced with this season. I'm excited about this season. We bought local ski passes to Mount Bachelor. We're super pumped to get on this mountain and be global ambassadors right here in our local community um, and share that stoke. But at the same time, I have visions of doing this internationally, of, of, of spreading this message to a little broader audience, of kind of leveraging up the, the influence that we started to establish through Instagram and some of our YouTube to outdoor families, outdoor adventure families. And so, guys, if you uh, think about it, pray that we'll have wisdom and clarity on how to take those next steps because we, I, my goal was initially, hey, let's ski around the world as a family. Let's ski in Portillo, Chile. And let's go ski in Israel. Let's go ski in New Zealand. Let's go ski in Austria and Switzerland. Let's go to Japan. Let's ski China. I mean, I'm like, what a, what a cool experience to look at life through skiing through a different sport, through international travel, through loving on people, build an Instagram and YouTube following that could be uh, a ministry because Ideally, we want to reach out and impact people in the giant five that I share so much about, our faith, our marriage, parenting, health, wellness, and using your God-given gifts to earn, serve, minister, kind of that entrepreneurial value creation mindset. Those are the things that I get juiced about, and I'm going, let's do it through the lens of a family. Let's do it together. Anyways, that's the vision. It's We put the season one together. Now we're coming up against season two, and it's not easy figuring out the plan. But we're working on it and we can't wait to tell you about it. And so we're just looking at it, all the options. We're going to map it out and trust in the Lord will lead. But uh, super excited. The adventure continues here. Thank you for following along. We will update you the second we know dates and times. And if you're halfway interested in skiing with us at some mountain or some resort and would be up for that, let us know in the comments below. And um, anyways, or if you have any wisdom or input or insight on these matters please let us know. Thanks so much. Again, we appreciate you and look forward to uh, what's in store ahead. Thanks.